What's up everybody, NFX here from Warbeats.com with another quick shot tutorial. In this quick shot tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily apply an effect to just a part of your song. For the demo, I'm going to use a vocal waveform. Then I'm going to apply echo to a specific word in that vocal. So let's bring up the playlist and I'm going to grab a vocal from the FL Studio presets and drop it in there. Prepare for launch in three, two, one. Okay, so you've heard what it says. And what I want to do is apply the echo to the last word, which is one. And this wave file is very easy to, to see where that is. It's right here at the end. Now what I want to do is set up the channel to go to a mixer effect. And so I've pre-routed it to insert number one. And I'll go ahead and select the fruity delay. Now when I play this back, you'll hear that it has the echo. Prepare for launch. Three, 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 two, two, one, 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 one. Okay, so, but obviously I don't want it on the whole part. So I'm going to go back to the playlist and holding down control and, and then dragging across this top area where the numbers are, I'm going to select an area a little bit before and after the part that I want to affect. Then I'm going to go back to my mixer insert. And then I want to point out next to every effect that you put in the chain here, there's a little dot that glows or gets turned off depending on when you click it and what state it's in. When it's off like this, that means the effect itself is not going through the audio. It's not on. It's not active. By default, it's, it's on. In this case, I want it off by default. In other words, I want it to start out with no delay, and I want to turn on the delay for that last word, and then I want to turn the delay off again. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off because that's the initial state that I want it to, to start in. Then I'll right click on it and select create automation clip. Now you've seen this before in uh, some of my other videos. So you know it's, it's very easy and very powerful. Now what I'm looking to do is this green line across the bottom is I basically want to add a couple points to it so I can shape this so that it can turn on and off. You'll notice it's across the bottom, which means it's off. If I, if I right click in this area, when the little arrow has the plus below it, it's going to add another point. So I'm going to add a couple of points here and a couple of points over here. The reason why I added two points on either side is because now I can drag one point all the way down like so and make it so that it's completely off then it's on for a period of time, and then it's off again. And by doing this, I can also stretch this out for as long as I need it. If we did it just right here around the word, what would happen is it would turn the, it would turn the echo on, but then it would turn it off almost right away. And we kind of want the echo to ride out a little bit. So I'm going to drag this down. Now we can also make the echo fade out a little bit just to make it a cleaner transition back to zero or off. But we definitely want to make sure that we turn it back off when we don't need the, the delay anymore. And that's why we have a little before and a little after to make sure it's in the state we want. I'm going to go ahead and deselect that, rewind to the beginning, and now let's take a listen. And actually, while we're doing that, let's look at the state of this particular button right here. Prepare for launch in three, two, one, 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 one. Okay, so you probably saw that button there turn on and off with this waveform or with this automation clip, actually. Um, and you may need to drag this out. I, 
to my, to my ear, it sounded like it ended a little too soon. So I might want to drag it out, but it's up to you to find the right spots to do that. So there you go. Now you know how to turn effects off and on at your will and at your command. So enjoy it, use it, abuse it, and definitely visit warbeats.com and come and see what we're all about. We have free beat feedback, beat battles, user forums, drum kits, FL projects. This is NFX saying, catch you guys in the next tutorial.